Hi, I'm Ava Lisa, and this is a hormone video. Just as a warning, things are about to get real, and I just want to let you know what's about to happen. Superstar. 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 So, um, Friday officially marked six weeks on hormones, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Let's talk about changes. Um, so far, I don't know if I've experienced a lot of changes. Um, for the most part, my nipples. <laughs> They started off really sore, really, really sore, and then they started to swell really big, and they were painful all the time. Sleeping was a bitch, and um, just recently, I started to lactate. Yes, ladies, on hormones, you will lactate. It's not like milk spurting out of my nipples, but I definitely have some liquid coming out of my nipples, which is crazy all in itself because you really don't think about anything coming out of your nipples as a man and as a woman you have to be pregnant for that to happen so for it just to be happening is very odd this is me without a bra without anything flat boy chest noticeable huge ass nipples they're huge and I don't know if I'm gonna get flagged for this but um if you can see that that is like the knot that is under my nipple breast. I don't know. But yeah, there it is. Nothingness yet. As far as the hair on my body, um, it seems to not be growing as quickly. I don't know when the last time I shaved my arm, but as you can see, it's not like a lot, a lot. Um, but it's not growing as quickly as it was before. Um, as far as facial hair, that's still growing the same way. It seems to be on like this weird cycle thing to where sometimes it grows a lot and sometimes it doesn't. And I can go like a day and a half without shaving and still get by. And then some days after like two hours, I'm like, oh my God, I need to shave again. As far as my skin, you always hear about people talking about how smooth their skin gets uh, when they start hormones. Me, I don't know. Maybe it's getting maybe it's getting softer and thinner, I don't know, but for me, I can't get past this. And I guess it is getting more sensitive because I'm cutting myself more when I shave. So hopefully I can go on ahead and get laser hair removal or um electrolysis. <laughs> Couldn't remember the word. Uh or get electrolysis to make sure all of that is gone. Um Let's talk about this. My hair. Um, this is me. Just me. My hair that I have been growing out of my head since December-ish. As a black woman, biological or transgender, some of us don't like the way our hair grows out of our scalp. And I'm on hormones, so if you don't like it, chemically change it. So I get perms. I get perms because I love the way my hair looks after a perm. I love to have that nice, silky, smooth texture after I get a perm. But I got my first perm since being on hormones. And yes, I'm doing color now, but last time I did color, I was not doing perms. But um, the color is, as you can see, not at the root. It's been probably about a month and some change since I had dye on my hair. And I went to <laughs> relax my hair. And as I was like combing through it, I saw a lot of it on the comb. And considering I had just taken out my sew-in and hadn't really brushed through it the way I needed to, I was like, okay, okay. No. I keep combing and I keep seeing more hair. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And so immediately I'm like head under the water. Just wash it. Just wash it all out. I don't care if it's permed. I don't care. Or I don't care if it's relaxed or whatever. Just get this out of, out of your head right now. So that's exactly what I started doing. And hair. Clumps and clumps of hair. Clumps and clumps of hair. Just coming out. Out of my head. This hair that I have been working 
has, you know, since December to get in my head is now falling out. And it was boggling. It was mind boggling to me because as a woman, your hair is kind of an identifier. You have, you know, two major identifiers as a woman. It's the long hair and the boobs. And I'm not really getting as much growth as I want to down here. So my hair, <laughs> it's falling out. So I'm going through this ridiculous mental process to where I was breaking down and screaming as I was pulling my hair out. It's a horrible, horrible thing to have to go through. So now my hair is thinner than it was. And I am wondering whether to shave it off or to keep it and try and save it. Um, I honestly don't know. I do not know what I'm going to do. So just to show you, because I feel like you want to see, um, this is all of the hair that came out of my head. Yep. Oh, yeah. It keeps falling. Yeah, look at that. That is... <laughs> the hair that was in my head. If you're questioning why I want to cut all my hair off, there. You'd want to cut all your hair off too if all of that just came out. Um, but as far as other change, wait, no. Let's go back to this hair thing. Nobody, nobody said anything to me about, hey, stay away from relaxers when you're on your hormones because it might make your hair fall out. Nobody said anything about stay away from coloring your hair while you're on on hormones because it might make your hair fall out. Nobody said any of that to me. And then after it happened, I got online and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And <laughs> there it is. If you're on HRT, avoid bleaching or relaxing your hair. Too little, too late. Because now my hair is in a big clump and it's not attached to my head.